Uh, today is October 6, 2014, and I am Arizona Trader. Uh, this is a quick midday rambling. I thought I'd throw out there while the kids are away. I don't usually do these because I don't watch the markets really intensively uh, during the days. But I thought I'd throw, uh, throw out a little something out there. I saw a tweet earlier this today about uh, IBD possibly calling this a follow-through day. I think they saw the uh, S&P 500 uh, gapping at the, at the open, but we can see it quickly reversed down even though it is reversing off its lows which is a still a bullish sign but uh, I noted in my uh, weekly review on my blog that the 50-day moving average could pose a significant area of resistance um, and if it does have uh, problems breaking through then we may actually we could either chop sideways for a while and then break above the 50-day moving average and then continue onwards and upwards or we can actually reverse and head back down and uh, face some uh, issues with this area of uh, support which is based off of this uh, prior swing low and uh, and this prior swing low um, if we do continue onwards and upwards even if um, IBD were to call this uh, you know a fall through day in the next few, today or in the next few days I still wouldn't be comfortable until we took out this prior high uh, for me to be convinced uh, that the trend is back on. Even if we do break through the 50-day moving average, we, we could still chop around inside this range here before we actually continue the trend upwards. Um, so it may not actually be a bad idea to look at some short positions or maybe buy some uh, weekly puts or something like that with a with a stop here at the 50-day moving average since uh, it'll be a pretty good area to put a stop in just in case we do break above it. Uh, but it may not be a bad idea to take a, a short position here uh, via some options um, just in case we do uh, break down or chop sideways for a while. Uh, the other thing I noted is even though it's not a secondary indicator for me, it's, uh, volume has been low on this move up, um, So, which has kind of been the, uh, the theme throughout the year, uh, low volume moves on the uh, right side of a correction. But um, we've seen that the volume was low on this correction here. We also could see that we spent quite a bit of time down here below the 50-day moving average. It's about 14, 14, 15 days. So uh, this move below the 50-day moving average is only 11 days. And we came down, see we corrected 4.2% here. This one's a little bit steeper. So uh, we may not be out of the woods just yet. Uh, so it's too early to say whether or not we're going to continue onwards and upwards until we break through that 50-day moving average moving average and continue onward and upward and break through this prior this prior high the same story with the with the queues um, although it is kinda close to breaking the 50-day moving uh, average or at least hold above it um, we are we still have a few hours before the close so it's still too early to tell and that's why I don't like to put out these week or midday uh, midday updates because by the end of the day this this video could be null and void but if we do hold above the 50 moving average, it'd be a bullish sign. We are reversing off the lows, which is bullish. Um, but, you know, we won't know until the end of the day. Um, same story. I'd feel better if we took out this prior high before we can say that the trend is back on. Otherwise, we could be just chopping sideways. If we do break below this prior swing low, then we could be in for more, uh, more downside movement, which may... Uh, convinced me to take a, a short position here or buy some weekly puts with a, a stop here at the intraday high. Uh, so that's how I'm, I'm approaching this market. It's, it's neither bullish nor bearish, um, but I might want to take on some uh, short positions via some weekly puts. I haven't seen the prices yet, but um, that might be the, 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 move I, the next move I make. Um, I'll keep you posted on Twitter if you follow me at Arizona Trader. You'll be uh, first to know if I make any uh, any purchases here. Um, off to the side, um, you know, I still hold my, my Facebook uh, position, which is which is actually doing quite well compared to the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq. Uh, Gilead's taking a, a bit of a beating right now, so um, these are the only uh, leaders, uh, the only stocks I own right now, and they've proven to be leaders considering all the volatility we've had in the last couple of weeks. Um, they're still uh, they're still holding tight, um, although they do report earnings at the end of the month. So I, I really don't have much of a cushion going into earnings. And um, even though I still think these are, are leaders, I I haven't really decided whether or not I'm going to hold on to them uh, through earnings or or or, uh, or dump them beforehand. Um, either way, I'll let uh, I'll let you all, you all know uh, via Twitter what I do. 
Um, again, you can follow me on Twitter at Arizona Trader, and you can follow uh, my blog post. Uh, I post a lot of stuff on my blog too. You can follow me on my blog or Twitter. Um, either way, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. I am Arizona Trader, and have a nice day.